Lego made a Phase 2 Commander Wolf, a Commando, or even a Workout Clone Trooper. I made all of them in real life. Here are three different Commandos, but you guys seem to like this one the most. If Lego ever makes a Commando, they better include a new mold for a Commando Blaster, or I'm gonna cry. Speaking of Commandos, I also made Delta Squad from Republic Commando, but you might also recognize Scorch from the Bad Batch. Here's a different version of Delta Squad that I made a while ago. It's kind of cursed. <laughs> Let's bring the others back. Scorch wasn't the only commando from the Bad Batch, though. This is an Imperial commando that had quite a few cameos in the show. I made this a while ago, so, uh, ignore the helmet. Remember when Commander Cody showed up in the Bad Batch, but he was gray? <laughs> what? Here are three versions of Imperial Commander Cody. I already made a music video begging Lego to make a Phase 2 Cody, but now I kind of want to make one for Imperial Cody. There's no doubt that the most heroic clone for the Bad Batch is definitely Captain Hauser. Here's a regular Captain Hauser, one with battle damage, and one with a printed pauldron by Coffee Mug Decals who's actually sponsoring this video. Wait a minute, have I only been doing clones for the Bad Batch? Okay, one more. You can't forget Captain Grey. He was only featured in the opening episode, but every Bad Batch fan loves him. He's so cool. Lego gave us an Echo minifigure in the Bad Batch shuttle, but let's be honest, he was way cooler during the Clone Wars. I made every single version that we've seen of him in the show, including the one with his robot arm. He looks epic as an arc trooper, but you can't go wrong with the classic animated style. If you want to get this one for yourself, check out Coffee Mug Decals linked in the description. I used to mix up Echo and Fives all the time, but now it's a lot easier to tell them apart since Echo is literally a cyborg. I have two phase one versions and three arc trooper designs. Okay, I did not realize I had that many. This one is from Coffee Mug Decals. You can use code Mike and Ike for 5% off. While we're talking about clones from the 501st, here are two designs for Dogma. One with arm printing and the other one without arm printing. Printing. Let's be honest, LEGO would never make a clone trooper with arm printing, but it looks really cool. Here's Kix from Coffee Mug Decals, another member of the 501st. He's the medic, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, he's the medic. I needed a medic after the emotional damage I received from season 7 of the Clone Wars. That was heartbreaking. Here's Arc Trooper Jesse, and we have two of them. One with arm printing and the other one without arm printing. Let's be honest, Coffee Mug's version looks so epic with the printed pauldron. If LEGO put Jesse into a real LEGO set, I would literally pee my pants. Also from the Clone Wars Season 7, Captain Vaughn. Literally all he did was just look cool and then die, Aww. but he's still one of my favorite clone troopers. Lego just made a Vaughn, but he looks kind of like a 332nd trooper who just stole a visor from Commander Cody. Here are two versions of him. I like Coffee Mug's version more, but again, Lego would probably never make a clone trooper with arm printing. <laughs> Lego's making a Venator that comes with a brand new Captain Rex, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna mess up the design somehow. Here are six versions of Captain Rex that I think are gonna be a lot better than whatever LEGO comes up with. Rex from the Skywalker Saga, realistic style of Rex, this one, this one by Coffee Mug, this one, and this one with the printed pauldron. Let's put a real pauldron on. There we go. What about phase one Rex? Here's one by Coffee Mug with a printed pauldron and one with a cloth pauldron. Someone on Instagram had a real problem with the weld marks on this one. LEGO made quite a few 501st clones, but never made a phase one 501st trooper. It's probably because we barely see them in the Clone Wars. But, you know. <laughs> I made three phase one 501st clones and a random OG 501st clone, because I like OG clones. But hold up, watch me do something really cool. <laughs> That's better. Ever seen a 501st Airborne Trooper? How about a plain Airborne Trooper? Which Airborne Trooper is your favorite? I'm having trouble deciding. Just kidding, I like this one the most. LEGO made two 212th Airborne Troopers, but they never made the clone troopers with the most epic facial hair ever. Let's start with Waxer. <laughs> He looks like every bald guy from the 2000s. We see him most in Phase 1, but here are two versions of him in Phase 2 armor. You can buy this one from Coffee Mug. Let's take a look at Waxer's best friend, Omega. I mean, Boyle. <laughs> Look at that mustache! We've got a good progression of minifigs, phase 1, phase 2, and here's another phase 2 by Coffee Mug. Here are some other 212 troopers LEGO never made. This first one would go well with the phase 1 Cody we got back in the day, but I also made one in OG style too. Imagine getting these guys in a battle pack back in 2005. We got a phase 1 Commander Wolf back in 2011, but did LEGO ever make a phase 2 Commander Wolf? I don't think so. I made one in the realistic style and three in the 2020 style. And for those of you who think dark gray is inaccurate, I did make one in light gray as well. Both of these are from Coffee Mug. Out of all these versions, I'm pretty sure LEGO would be most likely to make this one. LEGO made a Phase 2 Wolfpack Trooper, but they only made it in the animated style. Here's what they would look like in the realistic style and 2020 style. 2020 Wolfpack Troopers have no business looking this snazzy. These are some more iconic Wolfpack Troopers that LEGO should have made. We've got 
Sinker, Comet, and Boost in both 2020 style and animated style. This version of Boost looks a little bit messed up though. This is what happens when you decal a minifigure, but forget to carve the legs. The decals got shredded. I made all of these minifigures by hand, so it took a long time. <laughs> Who could forget 99 from Star Wars The Clone Wars? His sacrifice will always be remembered. To keep his legacy alive, I created him in Lego. His skin is darker than it is in The Clone Wars, but it blends really well with the new 2020 style skin tone. 99 never had any clone armor, so here are some clones without armor. These guys just got back from the barber. Which haircut is the best? This guy just trimmed his afro. We got trimmed sides, shaved sides, and what the heck is this? We gotta go bald, huh? oh! Apparently trimmed afro guy's hair is still longer than regulation. Here comes the Kamino security. This one is dark and this one is a lighter version with arm printing from Coffee Mug. They might need some backup. Not to worry though, shock troopers are on their way. We got five different versions of these guys. Here are three versions in 2020 style and one more with battle damage. Dude, the Coffee Mug design hits different. Oh, <laughs> and another one in realistic style with snazzy red arms. Lego is gonna make some shock troopers soon, but it's been a while since Lego has made just a plain face to clone trooper. For some reason, they never made one in animated style and I don't know why because it looks sick. Here are two versions of what LEGO would most likely make today and one more with battle damage. Here's a phase one clone by Coffee Mug from the old version of Star Wars The Clone Wars. It's a really underrated miniseries where General Grievous is so powerful that he beats six Jedi effortlessly. The clones that save the injured Jedi look so cool so I had to make them in LEGO. This is the Blue Lieutenant and he's commanded by Captain Fordo but you probably know him better in his phase two form when he's absolutely shredding up an army of super bad droids like a legend. Another memorable red clone is Devis. This one has a cloth pauldron and a waist cape, and this one by Coffee Mug is actually printed on. Devis needs some clones to be in charge of, so here are two Star Corps troopers. Lego made these before, but not in 2020 style. This one with arm decals is from Coffee Mug. Now that we have a decent 327th army, let's choose a leader. I made three versions of Commander Bly, and you guys chose this one as your favorite. The two rejects still want an army to lead, so we'll give them the 442nd. Here are three 442nd troopers and one green bar trooper. His helmet looks a bit off though. In case you're into bark troopers, I made four more. We got a plain one, wolf pack, 187th, and 501st. Lego really needs to make more bark troopers because we only got one so far. How about gunners? Lego made some in the past, but what if they made some for specific clone legions? I made one for the wolf pack, 187th, 501st, and 212th. This one would have been really cool to see in the ATTE with the other 212th troopers. A lot of people are hyped for the new Jedi survivor game. Oh my god! So here are some of the clones that Cal Kestis grew up with. Here are two 13th troopers from Jedi Fallen Order. One with battle damage and one without. And a commander with battle damage as well. Another game that every LEGO Star Wars fan loves is LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars. And the most attractive minifigure from the game is the workout clone trooper. So I made a bunch of them in LEGO. We have two phase one with a lighter skin tone and two phase two with a darker skin tone. If LEGO would have made a battle pack with these guys back in the day, I would have been in severe credit card debt at the age of 10. I had my subscribers vote for their favorite minifigure out of all of the clones in this video. And the clone that won the vote is actually going to be given away to one of you guys. Coffee Mug decals provided an absolutely insane amount of prizes as well. There's a second and third place prize, so check out my latest Instagram post to find out how to enter. I made all of these clones by hand, so if you want to see how I made them, click this video right here. If you want to buy some of Coffee Mug's decals, click the link in the description and use code Mike and Ike for 5% off. Let's hope Leco makes these clones someday.